It's Reveille. The one thing most voters universally despise about politicians is hypocrisy. The COVID hypocrites probably come to mind first. Lori Lightfoot and Pelosi getting their hair done, Governor Newsom dining out maskless, and J.B. Pritzker sending his family to open Florida when Illinois was closed tightly. So this week, I'll be watching what the hypocrites do in Springfield when the debate on the extension of the tax credit scholarship program takes place. The program has given 37,000 scholarships to low-income kids to escape failing public schools. What will Democrat Jamie Andrade do? He attended Gordon Tech, at that time an all-male Catholic school, and received a great education. In the district he represents, at his public sky, high school, only 5% of the students are proficient in English and math. Will Andrade deny opportunity scholarships to attend a private school like he did, or force students into a failing public school? Democrat Senator L.G. Sims attended a private Catholic school. At the public high school in his Senate district, no student is proficient in math. What will Sims do? Republican Jackie Haas went to a Catholic high school in Kankakee. She signed on to a bill to support to making the tax credit scholarship program permanent in 2021. And then she pulled her name off the bill. In her district at the public high school she represents, only 7% of the students are proficient in math. What's Haas going to do? There are numerous more examples of legislators who have personally chosen private schools for themselves or their own children. Both Senate President Don Harmon and Speaker of the House Chris Welch are in that category. The buck stops, though, with Governor Pritzker. He could end the debate on this issue today. He could refuse to sign a budget without an extension of the program. Call or email him to do so. I'm Jeannie Ives. Learn more about what's going on in Springfield and sign up for our annual dinner at Breakthrough-Ideas.com. That's Breakthrough-Ideas.com.